Hello. How are we all doing? Um, so, no, I didn't go to the cinema in the end. I stayed in bed. So, I just wanted to say thank you for getting us to number one on the pre-order charts again for the fourth EP in a row. I know this is like just an extension of first EP, but appreciate that massively. It's really cool. It's been a really cool project that we've worked on. Myself and Charlie did some mad hours on it. So I really hope you all like it. The feedback on Dynamite has been very good so far. Um, yeah, I've essentially just been told to remind you guys to make sure you pre-save it on spot uh, on Spotify. Um, it's going to be a huge help to the band and its progression if these songs, as well as the original EP, we haven't forgotten about that. I've seen all the stuff about flashing lights. Thank you. If this EP the new one, the acoustic one. If that does really well on the streaming front, it will be very good for us. Um, and I think deep down, all of you do want to do what is good for us. So, <sighs> yeah, make sure you pre save it. There's links on all of the boys' stories and mine. And thank you for getting it to number one. Appreciate your reaction. I've been doing my best to stay off social media for the past week or so, have a break from everything, but the way the world works is that you need to be active right now to reward the people that are actually doing good things for the band, because that's what's important. So, Make sure you screenshot once you've pre-saved it and tag all of us in it, the band account included, Blair included, Charlie included, and I'm going to personally go through and like, like, probably not interact if I'm perfectly honest, but I will like as many of them as I can because I assume there's going to be a large number of them. Um, yeah, I thought I'd come on and say that as opposed to doing a lot of text stories, because I've done that a lot, because I've not really wanted to show my face, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, yeah. Did you see the article Sony tweeted? Yes, I did, from Celebmix, that's cool. People are saying that it won't pre-save. Um, I think you need an account. That is my only explanation. Um, yeah, let's talk, shall we? Pop some questions in. Hello, Olivia. How are you doing, darling? It's nice to meet you at Summer in the City. Um... Yeah, flashing lights for fobs. Yeah, I saw that. That was really cool. Whoever came up with that, I'm not sure on the name. Thank you. Um, but do it with every song. Just because flashing lights is like my favourite, doesn't mean the other songs are bad. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not just my opinion that matters. Did your mum enjoy her birthday? Yes, she she loved it. I went home. I surprised her. I told her I was coming up the day before. Um. Which was really cool, because I've not been home all year, so it was a nice break away from everything, as I'm sure you guys can can relate to, if I'm perfectly honest. 
am I the only one that can listen to the Dynamite song? No, you're not. Uh, it comes free with the pre-order. Hopefully you're going to Winter in the City once to see you again. Potentially. Uh, I have no idea. I'm just going to be very honest in this one. So ask whatever you like. Please do anything to make you happy. Um, what's happy, what's made me happy is that the band is doing very well at the minute. I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy that um, you guys got us to number one and so many of you are pre-saving the acoustic EP, which is awesome. So thank you so much for everyone that's done that. It's important to notice when people do positive things and the good stuff for the band and those people don't deserve to be put in the same bracket as people who aren't necessarily as nice. Hello Blair, for those of you who don't know, Blair is my manager. Um, he's just put, he makes me happy. A lot, of, a lot of things make me happy, don't get me wrong, just because I took a, a few days off social media um, to get my head straight. It doesn't mean I'm depressed, I've seen a lot of things about it. There's nothing wrong with being depressed, I'm just personally not depressed, I just wanted a break from social media because, you know, times get a bit rough sometimes. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do this just to clear a few things up. Um, so thank you again. Not promoted the EP as much as I'd like. Um, and I have a good amount of passion for this EP. So it means a lot to me personally and to the band and its progression and everyone involved in the EP that this, e this acoustic EP does as well, if not better, than the main EP, the Dynamite EP. So please make sure you go and pre-save it. Like, it is vital to everything we're doing and everything we work for on a daily basis. The reason we don't see our families, the reason we put up with nasty comments, the reason we don't have a social media that we use for pleasure, we use it for our job and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all use, we all have social media for guilty pleasure, like going looking on pages and enjoying your guys' edits and stuff, but we don't have social media in the same sense as most people. So we give up a lot to provide the best content we physically can for you guys and the reward is days like today the days like this i wish were more frequent i miss i wish we were going to number one on the pre-order charts every day but it's not feasible so i'm just happy it did happen today so thank you for making it go to number one uh, make sure you pre-save the ep on Spotify, the way you do that, like I say, I know I keep preaching on about it, but just listen to me, please. Swipe up on my story, Rise, Brooks, Jax, Sonny's, Blair's, I don't know if Charlie's done one, maybe, the band's one. Swipe up, it will say, pre-save on Spotify, pre-order, Apple Music, Deezer, I have no idea what Deezer is, I'm sure it's great, just get it everywhere you can. Particularly Spotify, it is it is genuinely so crucial. Right, you guys run some mad campaigns um, to get the streaming figures up for the EP when that came out, and we were also appreciative of it. And everyone was in such a dope place. Right? Everything was so rosy when the Dynamite EP came out. Went to number one on the pre-orders. Went to number four in the main charts. But hey, that's life. The streaming figures are mad. Like flashing lights is approaching three quarters of a million. All the rest of the boys, as all the rest of the songs, well over six hundred k. Like that's incredible. To be part of something with those figures is mad. Um, Blair's going off about my hair. Uh, thank you. I think. Hope you like it. Um, and yeah, I just want to say as well. Uh, I have. I have seen a lot of really nice comments over the past week or so, which I'm massively appreciative of. Um, a lot of people assume that I came offline as like a publicity stunt or to prove a point. Um, I think you guys know that we're a lot more honest and not as smart as that. So for those of you who said that I took some time off to, to gain some attention or for clout, uh, you don't know me at all because I don't think I've t had a day off properly in six years but you know people don't see that side of things and that's fine i'm 
happy to to explain those things. Um, but like I say, I keep reverting back to it. All that time away, and all of the sleepless nights, and being a bit homesick, and the nasty comments, which there are a lot of, um, are worth it for days like this. Those, for those of you who don't know, uh, I've been a musician since I was born, essentially. Since I was six, I started learning guitar. So I literally don't care. Uh, it worked, you are a clout god, I'm not worthy, I suck. Blair, you are. You are the source of entertainment here. You should be the one live. Um, yeah. No, I've been, been doing music for as long as I can remember. So days like this are what mean a lot to me. Like when the music of the band I'm a part of, and proud to be a part of, gets recognised more so than an individual member. And if you guys like their traits or not. Performing over socials, exactly. Stage over socials. Social media is part of a job. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to interact with you guys unless you came to our shows. And we aren't in the fortunate position yet to be able to tour the world. But that's fine, because we're not ruling that out. Ever. We want to do it as soon as possible. But we need to grow in order to do that. Um, and the way we grow, just pre-save. And then we can start coming around the world. You have forgotten me. You have left me here in the cold. I haven't. We haven't seen a great deal of Blair this year. He's currently on holiday, I believe. Um, but we've moved far away. And, you know, we do our thing and we still stay in touch, for sure. Um, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is the day I wake up and I'm not in music. I was, I was born to be a musician in some capacity. Might not necessarily be a boy, my member, but that's what I am right now, and I love every second of it. So, a few things I want to clear up. No, I I'm not depressed. I don't I don't have depression. Please stop worrying about some of the uh, some of the rumors going around. Like I'm feeling suicidal, or I want to leave the band, or just assumptions people are making. I feel like, ah, uh, that's not gonna happen on my watch. I appreciate that, Blair. Thank you for your consistent and continuous support of myself and the rest of the boys. Um, but yeah, people making assumptions on my welfare and well-being, I think's harsh because they aren't me. They're not in my head. I do have periods where I am um, you know, a bit moody and a bit reserved. I'm not quite as silly as other people, but that's fine. Everyone plays their role. Uh, and I can be as well when I'm in a right, the right mind frame. Currently, I'm not in that mind frame, but that doesn't mean I'm like this forever. Some rumors are crazy and get blown out of proportion. I only listen to what you're telling us. Thank you, Olivia. I appreciate that. Everyone has the down days. Jennifer, you're so right. And I've had I've had a down week, but in that week I've got to see my mum, which is amazing. First time I got to spend continuous time with her all year. Um, I did some travelling. Um, no, it was cool. I, I enjoyed that time. I needed that time because um, things were getting a bit on top of me from an online perspective. I know that I'm one of the people in the world that does take things to heart. Um, I preach sarcasm. I think self-deprecation is like a, a really attractive thing. For those of you who don't know, self-deprecation is like someone who has the ability to laugh at themselves. I laugh at myself all the time. I laugh at myself about my weight, about my hair, about my style, about my crooked teeth. Like, no one's perfect, and if they tell you they are, they're more, probably more insecure than everyone. Um, so I preach sarcasm, but I preach harmless sarcasm. And I also think that a lot of sarcasm has truth wrapped in it. Um, so when I see you guys say horrible things about me or my bandmates or my band, 
uh, particularly of a text that does get misconstrued, doesn't it? Um, so, and it's also not been like a ridiculously easy year. Like, it's been a, it's been a quite a chilled year. Um, but for those of you who who aren't aware, um, my father passed away in April, and again. The trolls amongst you will say that I'm using that as an excuse, but I didn't have uh, a grieving process because I didn't go home. I didn't have a funeral to attend. I just worked through it and maybe that caught up with me and certain comments that I could brush off like a year ago, prob I probably took to heart. Um, being perfect is knowing you aren't. I love that. And I'd, I'd say, I'd say I'm, I'm neither perfect and I know I'm not perfect because the way, the way I view things is, it's like a ladder. And if you asked a five year old me, where's the top of your ladder? It would be four number one albums, living a great life, living like a, like a stress-free life with a lot of great people around me. But that's, that's not the top of the ladder, is it? You have to keep adding new steps to the top of your ladder. And then once you've reached the new top steps, you keep adding more. And it's the people that really are passionate about things and care about them that have an unlimited ladder. And 